right. See, we all need to fall down on our knees and ask God to have mercy on us. The only way, and I don't care what folks are telling you today, the only way you're going to make it to heaven, you have got to repent. Yes, repent. That means to be godly sorry for everything you've done. You then must be buried, washed, baptized in Jesus' name for the removal, the remission of your sins. That's right. And that, let me, oh, wait a minute. And he will fill you with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. See, let me tell you something. Sit down, sit down, baby. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. See, let me tell you something. You all don't know, but we are in a war. It's no war like the war we in. I'm not talking about the war in Libya, in Syria, and the war in Afghanistan. Those wars do not compare to the spiritual war that we're in. That's right. Because this war is fighting for your soul. Yeah. If you can see what's going on in the spiritual, it would scare some of you right out of your skin. That's right. See, that's why the enemy's bringing, he's bringing down leaders left and right. Leaders are now not concerned about the souls of men, but they are more concerned about how much money can you put in my pocket. Right. But when you have a real leader that tells you that sin is wrong, you want to walk right out of this church. That's the war that we're in. And I'm here to tell you, it's a real war. It's a real one. Now, thank you. Don't you forget about Reverend Goody now. Oh. You know what? It's just like the devil to bring your past up in your face. And I'm not making any excuses for what I did because I was conscious when I did. I knew what I did. But here's what happened. I came to myself. Hey, I felt that in the Holy Ghost. I said, I came to myself. Like the prodigal son came to himself and went home. I came to Forgive me. That's right. And I repented. Yeah. And you know what's happened since then? I'm not going back. I'm not going back. I'm moving ahead. I'm here to declare in you. Thank you. 